What's up everybody, Trip Smith here, and today we're in Destin, Florida. Right now it is 5.57 in the morning. Sun is almost coming up out there over all the hotels, and we're out in the pass catching high tide, which is at 6.30 this morning. We got some scuba tank stuff to experiment with and try out, right? Look at all these sport fishers out here, kind of like lining up. I think they're trying to catch bait. Interesting. Guess that's what they do. They come out here and catch bait and wonder where they head out. This must mean this is going to be a pretty good spot to snorkel or to dive in. So we're pulling up to our spot right now, about to toss out the anchors. We're ready to take a trip dip. Ooh, look how clear the water is. We got our bow and our stern anchors out. Woo! So hold us in place here pretty good. Check out all these boats, man. I mean, there's several of them. Like I said, the people are just catching baits before they go out and catch the big fish. And last time I was out here at this time, <laughs> there wasn't this many boats. There was like, I don't, I don't remember there being any boats. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyhow, I think the boat's secure. Let's go down and check out this scuba stuff. All right, so we've got a Smako air tank. It is a small tank. I don't know the exact size of it, but we got a regulator and we have a pressure gauge. And I was able to charge this thing at home actually because this kit actually, well, it comes as a kit. It comes with a pump that you plug into the wall that pumps this tank. I took a better part of 30 minutes to fill this tank, but you know, that's because it was at zero. If it's not at zero, it probably wouldn't take that long to fill it. So it's like a complete like home scuba system. And you probably could use the little pump that I use for this to fill a big tank. This may take a little while, but hey, whatever. Anyhow though, it's high tide. We're about to jump in and see what we can see. See how this sucker works. guys may not get that but all right so it feels pretty good on I mean it's definitely not a BC like a standard you know what you would go scuba diving with which is like a buoyancy aid so this has no you know built-in air chambers in it so that you can fill up to help yourself rise or sink or become buoyancy neutral in the water so you just have to use your own weight so that would be like wearing a wetsuit if you need more flotation like I probably do or wearing a weight belt if you have too much built-in flotation which essentially muscle weighs more than uh, the fat cells. So, you know, depending on where you are and how you float in the water, you may need one or the other, all right? I don't know how to say that, but there you go. <laughs> I will tell you one thing about this for sure. It is a lot easier to move around and stuff with this on versus a big traditional, you know, BC with a full-size scuba tank. Much, much easier. <laughs> which kind of brings up the question, Trip, you're going scuba diving or even scuba certified and you're breaking the rule, man. You're not going with a buddy or a partner. And yeah, but, but <laughs> I am scuba certified. Granted, it's been like 15 years or something since I, maybe 14, show something like that, since I've been scuba diving. But however, a lot of you folks know that I used to be a firefighter for like six and a half years and we breathed with an apparatus which is very similar to this except we weren't underwater, right? It was an SCBA. So scuba, which is a self-contained underwater breathing apparatus is what scuba diving is because underwater and then we had an SCBA which is a self-contained breathing apparatus. The only difference is now I'm going underwater. So, you know, basically the same thing, right? So I've got a lot of experience wearing one of these except there wasn't underwater, I was and a lot of smoke, right? <laughs> All right, let's put on our big old fins and let's let's go. I'm kind of excited. This is cool. Don't tell me what we're gonna see this early in the morning. What's up underwater for you? Then you can watch me put my fins on 
that would be exciting. I've never filmed a scuba diving video before. <laughs> Free mask. I didn't bring my weight belt. So I thought the tank might be heavy enough because I don't need much weight, but whatever. There we go. That's a little better. Alright, let's see how this goes. I'm not sure how well I'm going to sink. <laughs>
What's that? 15 minute dive? Man, the sun is right in my freaking eyes. Worked just fine. Well, I think that went pretty well. I mean, overall, it's, I mean, it works. Nothing wrong with it. And I didn't have buoyancy issues like I thought I would. I stayed down just fine. But a weight belt would have helped a little bit. Now, what this is really going to be fun with is in the pool with my kids. Yeah. Or come down here with my kids, maybe in the shallows and stuff. Hey, you know, they'll try this out and they'll you know, get more comfortable in the water. They want to do stuff like this. So I think that is a great thing for this. I'm really, really excited about that because my oldest boy, he's eight right now, and he loves swimming and loves going underwater and trying to hold his breath just like daddy does. So he would dig this. So I'm really looking forward to that. And then my youngest, he's five. He's, he's getting there. So my actual dive, uh, my max depth was 31 feet. I was diving for 15 minutes and six seconds. The water temp was 88 degrees, so not too bad, 15 minutes. And I was at depth for a few minutes. I tried not to stay at depth for too long because your air doesn't last as long at depth. I knew that was gonna be a limiting factor was the size of the tank. But pretty cool, lots of fun. I'm glad to have one of these at home with a pump where I can pump it back up and go back in the pool tomorrow or today if I wanted to. That, that really is a pretty awesome thing. Total fun, you guys need to try it. <laughs> and I can bring this along with me you know, all my future trips because it's small and compact. And if it, there's ever a need for it, like what if someone drops something in deep water? I don't know. Who knows? What if you need to get in the water and do some work or something? That would work for a few minutes. Thank you, Smako, for sending it out. All right, folks. Appreciate you watching the adventure. I hope you all are finding little ways to live your own adventures, folks. All right, take care. Get out there. God bless. I'll see you on the next video or adventure. Love you.